Oh, hello everybody. My name is Omar Stearns and I will be reporting today from GE Global Research uh, in Munich. Uh, today I will show you some of the exciting technologies that we are developing, introduce you to some of the scientists that are developing this technology, and uh, from looking at this maybe you can get a sense of some of the stuff that we are developing. We are developing uh, renewable energy technologies, healthcare technologies, um, sensors, composite manufacturing technologies and also biotech, biotech. Oh, by the way, I see one of my colleagues over there. Let's ask him what he's doing and researching on. Hello, my name is Marco. I'm a chemist here at the site conducting research on chemical sensors. One of the topics my team is working on is ion mobility spectroscopy. Ion mobility spectroscopy is a technology that's used to detect explosives and narcotics this is actually such an instrument that is employing this technology, a GE security entry scan walkthrough portal, as it is used in airports and in other security areas like prisons. So, Omar, would you actually like to try it? Sure, why not? Step in and wait right. until the sensor is on. Wait for the light. <laughs> okay. Wait a moment. Exit. Oh, looks like you're fine. Thank you very much. Is that it? Air okay. covers on. Okay. Okay, so now we're at a section where some of our labs are located. Uh, right now we will be visiting one of my colleagues, he's actually from Australia. So one of the, that's one of the really nice things about the center, uh, the international diversity. For example, I myself am from Mexico, I think we have about 25 different nationalities. So that makes it really interesting and really exciting to work. Okay, follow me. Okay, I'll go, I'll go, wait for the camera. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> Here we are in our aerodynamics test cell. Uh, this is where we do our testing for oil and gas and for aircraft engines or anybody else who's interested. Uh, we have a lot of flow control equipment over the back of the cell. Uh, this is where we get flow from outside from a compressor, bring it in and uh, set it up for the way we need it in the experiment. I work with Christian a lot and he's going to tell you a little more about one of our experiments. Okay. Good. What you see here is quite a unique experiment. It's a sector test rig for a centrifugal compressor. So what's so special about that? Well, our air supply that Alex just mentioned can only supply one quarter of the mass flow that the real machine actually needs. So what do you do? Well, you build only one quarter of the machine in 90 degrees sector test rig, which is what you see here. Now the challenge is the real machine is quite nasty. It has an impeller that turns very fast and that impeller adds energy to the flow by putting a lot of swirl into it. So imagine the flow going around in circles really fast. And it goes through a diffuser, which means it goes radially outward, going in circles like a spiral outwards. Then you have a 180 degree bend. So it has to go around the bend while going in circles. So you can see I would have to break my arms to show you how that really looks like. So what we did is we basically can't build that. So what we did is we came up with this new design where the flow comes in backward in, then goes through a 90 degree bend, it goes radially from the outward in, gets some swirl, and when it reaches finally the uh, place which we really are interested in in the machine, it has essentially the same flow condition that it would have in the real machine. So that's the whole trick of the sector test rate. Thank you very much, Christian. Good. You're that was welcome. Very interesting. Molto bene. Grazie. Yeah, prego. Okay. So, this is uh, one of our students. We have about 40 students a year working here on their uh, master thesis and on their PhD thesis. So, Sebastian is working in, uh, on one of our solar technologies. Uh, and by the way, he's a great football player. Okay. So, what are we having here? Um, this is an MR scanner. Um, we can't go inside. This is the control room for it, and this is the scanner. Quickly open the door and you can just peek inside. Alright, so this is the kind of stuff that you see in, in a hospital where they put you in and take some emissions off your body. What we're doing here is we're working on the next generation of MRI scanners. Um, typically, what we want is we want higher resolution, better image quality, and we want faster acquisition so that you don't have to spend so much time inside that scanner. So we're working on a couple of things where we put coils and all kinds of uh, you know, different um, acquisition systems into these scanners to, to get the quality higher uh, because that will enable new applications in the future. 
So these are also two of my colleagues, they work in the Alternative Energy Systems Lab. So, hi Michael, how are you doing? Hi Omar, thanks, hi. fine. So let's go up to the TV panels now. Alright, great. So this is actually my colleague Mark Settel. he's from the Hybrid and Renewable Energy Systems Lab, right? Yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> let's go. So, Marcus, can you tell us something about the solar panels that we have here and about the things that you're working on? Yeah, of course, Omar. That's our 45 kilowatt PV system here on top of the roof of our center. It consists of uh, 256 single panels from G Energy. And we are working here on developing new types of solar modules, which are higher efficiencies and, of course, lower costs. Thank you, Michael. So I guess that concludes our tour of the GE Global Research Center in Munich. And I hope that you got some insights into some of the technologies that we're working on here and some of the people also working on those technologies. All right. Thank you very much.